22 minutes after the hour. You know, uh, uh, Dan, I was talking about uh, Shannon Walker of Fox News earlier, and uh, this tore my heart out. Uh, the uh, study suggesting that veterans may be more likely to die by suicide during the first year after they leave the military than after more time passes. I mean, it's just, honest to God, it, it, it's just does it to me. Shannon, well, what's happening when these veterans get discharged? Do they have jobs? Do they go back to uh, their routine? What goes on? Well, um, a lot of them don't have jobs. In fact, you know, one of the biggest, you know, issues where I think that, you know, uh, that not only the government, but maybe even the military hasn't prepared them for is to reintegrate back into civilian life. And so often when they are um, trained specifically and dedicated to a mission, sometimes for half a lifetime, and they've got their battle buddies right next to them, and they have men and women that are on the same mind and have the same mission, and and they have each other's backs, and they have that constant support of people that are single-minded, and, and they're, com they're committed to each other, and then they come out into a civilian life, and so often are feeling completely alone without direction, and it just leaves them ripe for feelings of depression and, and being isolated, and you know, the suicide rate amongst our veterans is 22 veterans a day. And what this study is teaching wow. us is that, you know, the first year they are at most risk um, because they are faced with an instant transition of maybe loneliness or feeling like a lack of purpose. And, and we've got to find a way to make it better for American heroes. And that's one of the reasons that I started Northwest Battle Buddies. You know, we provide service dogs to combat veterans who have PTSD to try to find a way to give back and, and, and offer them something that's going to help, you know, give them hope and uh, hand up to freedom and independence in, in, a, in a new life. Shannon, uh, looking at some of the analysis that the researchers uh, presented, you have to wonder if it's true or not sometimes. That's why I'm going to ask you. It says almost 3.8 million current and former service members from 2001 to 2011, overall, there were 4,492 suicides in the study population. Is that true? Well, that's definitely what the study says. And the wow. fact is, is that with the current rate where people are saying the number of 22 veterans a day, you know, let me just say this, you know, among the veterans that I know that I've had the privilege of working with, when when we look at statistics like this, when we look at the statistics of how many veterans a day maybe in America that are committing suicide, you know, the veterans will quickly tell me, you know, Shannon, it doesn't matter about the number. If we lose one brother or sister to suicide, it's too much. And for our American heroes, we have to find a way to do better, to do more, to to offer them the support because, you know, these are men and women that have, that have signed a blank check to us, the American people, to lay their life on the line or do whatever they're asked to do to serve our country for my freedom, for my personal freedom. And we have to find a way to give back to that. And so even one is too many. But I do believe that number is, is whether it's completely accurate or not, and I'm not saying that it's not, but the fact is it's way too many. Too many of our American heroes are facing um, this statistic, and they, they face it every day. And, and if they don't face it themselves, they are losing you know, their brothers and sisters to suicide. I mean, we've provided 38 service dogs to 38 veterans in um, in five years, 100% free of charge to their veteran, and there isn't one of them that hasn't lost brothers or sisters of, in arms wow. to the statistic um, of suicide. And um, so whether they face it themselves, they're still facing it because they're losing, you know, like I said, their brothers and sisters in arms. And as a brotherhood that I've had the opportunity to, to, to observe and, and, and be a part of it, watching them work together, no matter what the conflict, whether it's a Vietnam veteran, you know, or somebody from the Iraqi war, there's no distance that changes the commitment they have to each other or what that brotherhood looks like. Oh, talk a bit more about Northwest Service Buddies. <clears throat> Northwest Battle Buddies. We provide service dogs to combat veterans who have PTSD at absolutely no charge to the veterans. And we did it specifically. I started the organization specifically because... I learned about the suicide rate through a veteran who came through my door looking for help. He wanted his personal dog to be trained to serve him with PTSD. And in that amount of time, I've had the privilege 
of gifting 38 service dogs to 38 American heroes. And these these service dogs wake them up from night terrors. They they take them out of, you know, help snap them out of panic attacks as they go through the public. But our veterans that I've had the privilege of working with, I see them learn with their service dog how to navigate life and go not only to the mall at Christmas time, but the security at the airport. And they absolutely 100% are willing to go places that they would never go on their own willingly because the hope that that service dog brings them um, is so life changing that they're willing to do whatever it takes to find the courage to overcome. And it's incredible privilege to be a part of it. Um, And it's an honor to serve, to serve um, our veterans. And I mean, I'm a single mom and my twin sons serve in the Marines and the Army. So it's not just something that I say thank you as far as providing a, a life-saving gift as a service dog, but also I believe this to my core and my children believe it. Uh, Shannon Walker. Shannon, what is your website? Do you have one? Yes, it is northwestbattlebuddies.org. We are completely funded by private donation. Um, and, um, you know, this is something we are very committed to do long-term. And so northwestbattlebuddies.org, and they can also find us on Facebook. Well, I want to tell you, you've made my morning by being with Thank me. you very much, sir. And with Dan. And we really, uh, this, is, uh, this is something that really hits us all. And to have somebody like yourself, uh, Shannon, uh, do what you're doing is uh, a tremendous contribution to life. And uh, God bless you for it. Thank you, sir.